Hello, this is Dr. Kuldeep from Department of Pharmacy Government Polytechnic Jalgaon. I welcome you all in my YouTube channel Kuldeep Bansur Edu Pharma. In this learning dialogue we will going to discuss about procurement of stores and inventory control inside hospital pharmacy. Let's see the learning objectives. After going through this learning dialogue viewers will be able to explain the strategic objectives for good pharmaceutical procurement explain the procedure of purchasing give the methods of purchases and select the suitable method for procurement then use the techniques to control inventory and estimation of economic order quantity to manage inventory let's see them one by one here the strategic objectives for good pharmaceutical procurement is explained the first strategic objective is that all organizations responsible for procurement whether they are public private should develop an essential drug list to make sure that only the most cost effective drugs are purchased procedures must also be in place that accurate estimate procurement quantities in order to ensure continuous access to the products selected without accumulating excess stock the second objective is that reliable suppliers of high quality products must be pre selected and that active quality assurance programs involving both surveillance and testing must be implemented The third strategic objective is that the procurement and distribution system must ensure timely delivery of appropriate quantities to central and provincial stores and adequate distribution to health facilities where the products are needed. The fourth objective is that the procurement and distribution system must achieve the lowest possible total cost considering four main components the actual purchase price of drug hidden cost due to poor product quality poor supplier performance or short shelf life inventory holding cost at various levels of the supply and operating cost let's see what is mean by scientific purchasing the scientific purchasing is also known as best purchasing where you have to select a right quality right quantity at a right time and at a right price this all factor should be from very right sources so these are called as the five rs of scientific purchasing let us see the procedure for procurement of raw material or the medicaments inside the hospital very first step is purchase requisition it is the request from all the departments to purchase the material required by that department toward the store or toward the purchase committee this is a legal document for the request it is prepared in a triplicate form first copy goes to the purchase department second copy to the store department and third copy is with the originating department after sending the purchase requisition or after receiving the purchase requisition requisition the second stage is scrutiny of all the requisition which is received at the pharmacy check accuracy and specifications as well as requirements from all the department the intent must be scrutinized for accuracy and completeness of the description the third stage is market survey and selection of vendor on the basis of specification and requirement it is the duty of purchase committee to select the source or choose the proper method of purchasing so that the five rs of scientific purchasing should get fulfilled the last stage is purchase order or we can say preparation of purchase order it is a legal document of agreement for the terms and conditions between the buyer and vendor 
detailed description of each items to be given in a purchase order and the quantity should be mentioned so it work as a legal document between the purchaser and the vendor this purchase order should be prepared in a seven different copies let's see why the seven different copies are prepared and to whom they are sent for the different purposes the first copy is sent to the vendor for the supply of items along with the terms and conditions second copy retained by the purchase officer third copy to the account department for the audit and for having the useful inside the budget fourth copy to the finance department so that after the delivery of the items they will have the one note from the store that these items are received at the store now it's time to release the payment of the vendor fifth copy to the store so that they will know these are the items are order and they should be received at them sixth copy to the excise department for their information and relief from the excise duty if any and seventh copy to the requesting department or the department who has sent a requisition so that they will also inform about their purchases procurement can be done by various methods here are the some methods indicated centralized purchase decentralized purchase rate contract and bid system or a tender system let's see centralized purchase centralized purchase department by an officer has to issue purchase order follow them up institute bidding procedures and invite quotations and maintains purchase record so all the purchase is done by the purchase committee another is decentralized purchase made either by the junior medical officer or pharmacist have to carry out direct purchases from wholesaler institute purchase for bid inviting emergency purchases from local market and entry into a rate contract rate contract is a agreement for the procurement cost reduction strategy aim at standardizing procurement prices for commonly procured or homogeneous and price varying inputs rate contract given to a bidder bind him to supply at an agreed rate a specified total quantity against purchase order release from time to time till an agreed quantity contact is over it ensures assured supply at an assured time of an assured quality another method is bid system or a tender system there are various types of tenders as open tender restricted tender limited tender single tender or global tender the bid system is of three types single bid system two bid system and three bid system each having its own advantages and should be suitable for different levels of purchases an open tender is open for all the manufacturer and for all the vendors or all the distributors tender is a written offer to supply the goods or perform a specific job at a site this system includes various steps like inviting the tenders scrutiny of received tenders and inviting the suppliers for complies with the technical and economical standards of the tender and lastly a formal agreement is prepared to execute the order in single bid system a single envelope method all the requirements is given by the supplier in a single envelope or in a single form in a two bid system it is also called two envelope system 
one envelope is for specification and another envelope is for commercial bid or for price quote. The three bid system consists of three envelopes. One is for the suitability or the specification of the items. Another envelope for the eligibility of the supplier and third for commercial or the price quote. If testing is carried out for the purchase of raw material for the manufacturing purposes, then it is the most important step in the manufacturing of pharmaceutical product. To get the quality product, one has to use the quality raw material. Hence, the raw material is of great significance in quality control. All statements in the monograph given under heading standard constitute the standard for the official substances and a substance is not of pharmacopoeial quality unless it complies with all the requirements stated under that standard. It is the duty of quality control department after going through all the tests as per the standard they had to put label on the raw material whether they complies or not complies the test whether they are approved or rejected. So approved raw material should be taken for the manufacturing and rejected raw material should be sent back to the supplier. In this way, the procurement of a store is carried out inside the hospital. The reference is taken from WHO for the strategic objective of pharmaceutical procurement. Let's summarize. In this learning dialogue, we discuss about strategic objectives for good pharmaceutical procurement. We also discuss about five hours of scientific purchasing. Then we studied about procedure for purchases in a very brief. And last one is we study about the testing of raw material. Till then, if you like this video then do not forget to subscribe to the channel till then happy learning